Yeah, this is Cody from Gods of Gravity, and this is the B twist slash B kick tutorial. If you don't know what a B twist is, it's basically take a full spin and put it on your side. So the difference between that is whenever you're going for a back pull or a cork, it's where your body's positioned at. Whenever you're starting a B kick, the your stomach area is going to be facing towards the ground before you start your spin. With a back pull, your back. With a cork, your side. Before you can learn a B, uh, B twist, you're going to want to learn a B kick. A B kick is the first step. You need to learn this. Most people don't, and they don't understand why they can't get their B twist. So basically, the B twist is you're going to take whatever leg is pointing in the direction you're going. So, so I'm going to go left. So my left leg is facing that way. You're basically going to take your right leg, pick a spot over there, you're going to come down, throw your arm in that direction, it's going to make your body horizontal, and you're going to want to kick that leg into the spot you pick. So here's an example of a B kick. Now that was the average height, you, the higher it is, the better it gets. So. The, for more height, you're going to want to throw this the arm of the direction you're going. You're going to want to throw it more straight up. And then once you get to the height of your jump, you're going to want to throw it down to get the horizontal and still do the kick. So an example of that it would be... Way about uh, maybe that much higher. When you're going for your knee twist, it's the same basic your arm up to the side. Whenever you get horizontal, you're going to want to cork this arm. Throw it to your side so you can get spin. And you're going to spin on your side, fall to the ground again, and kick the leg that's on your opposite side. Ground. Examples of that coming up. Uh, slow motion and regular. Front view, side view, and with momentum steps. Momentum sets will help you a lot with your B, B twist or B kick actually. A lot of people use it to start. Momentum sets are just meant to get us be maybe more height. Facing momentum steps are as shown. And you know whatever move you're gonna do. It's basically just two easy 180 steps. 180, 180, throw it. You don't want to jump at all. You may see my feet slightly come off the ground. That's just because of the speed. You don't want to... That's not going to get you anywhere. No. But if you do it correctly, you'll get just enough speed and you still have control of your foot. Alright? So, after you, after you realize you think you have to move, here are some common mistakes people will make. Don't get, you have to get over the fear of being horizontal. A lot of people have that fear. So don't get people that will try their beat twist like this. And spin straight up. You don't want that. You also got to dedicate to your spin. You can't stop halfway just because you're afraid. If you do, you'll land on your back. And I've seen that way too often. You will, you'll see this. You can't open up. You got to stay tight. And then other people, you'll get there and you decide that you don't want to kick your leg out. And you're going to just fall. And that's going to mess up your wrist quite bad. 
looks something like this. If you're getting this, you need to fix it. Alright. Once you get the steps down, get your B kick down really well. And then if you can, work on your vertical spins. Jump up, spin 360, land back in the exact same place. Once you get that, add that spin to your B kick and you'll have a B twist in no problem. It's a, it's a move that needs a lot of practice and you need to be dedicated to it. This is Cody from Cause of Gravity and that's the B kick B twist tutorial.